For a better start in life, start cola earlier. Of course, sugar contributes to the diabetes epidemic and the obesity epidemic, but unfortunately, we now know, and it's a recent discovery, that sugar contributes to cancer as well. Nearly a third of some common cancers, including breast and colon cancers, have something called insulin receptors on their surface. Insulin binds to these receptors and signals the tumor to start consuming glucose. When we eat or drink sugar, it can serve as a catalyst to fuel certain types of cancers. The whole idea that cancer actually feeds off of sugar, particularly a cancer like mine, I was literally like feeding it as I was trying to fight it in the same moment, like in the chemo suite, sucking on a tangy taffy, which is so absurd. But I didn't know. I mean, I just had no, I had no idea. And nobody told me. We've invented phenomenal vehicles for pouring sugar into people without them noticing. We live in a fast-paced world, and our food has adapted at warp speed. But our bodies were built to thrive on healthy fuel, unprocessed nutrients like fruits, vegetables, protein, and water. It's a pretty simple concept, but the results are much more extraordinary than you might think. It's the reaction inside our bodies on a cellular level that makes the nutrition pillar a powerful tool of the anti-cancer method. We know that this lifestyle change that I made, and not only for myself, but I made it uh, for my family. This is my daughter, Trivia. She has uh, lost 68 pounds, and we are so proud of her. And she said her goal is to lose 80 more pounds. I work 11 to 7, and I work at a hospital, so y'all know it's very stressful. So when I get off, when I used to get off work in the morning at 7.30, I knew all the restaurants I was going to hit. You know, I was going to do McDonald's one day, Chick-fil-A the next day, Burger King the next day. I had them all mapped out. And I would do that. And it would be a comfort to me after a hard night's work. But I didn't realize that it was making me gain the weight. You know, it makes no sense that you can't do anything to help your body be more protected against cancer. Obviously, the food you eat every day, three times a day, has to have an impact. So tell me, what should I eat? What's the typical anti-cancer plate? Mostly vegetables, mostly plant-based. Obviously, foods contain molecules. And some of these molecules happen to have very specific and potent anti-cancer activity. And a researcher at uh, the University of Montreal had the idea of buying a new piece of equipment for his $40 million lab. Uh, he bought a juicer. We've been looking at the anti-cancer properties of uh, molecules in food for, uh, for about 15 years. Okay. So why, when we talk about prevention, are plants so important? Oh, that's, uh, I haven't seen this result. That's very good. How do plants that have no arms to fight and no legs to run protect themselves against plant-eating animals, bacteria, virus, insects? Plants defend themselves by producing thousands and thousands of substances that are either toxic or killing the bacteria that try to eat them. These molecules, we call them phytochemicals. Phyto means plant, chemicals from plant. And by pure serendipity of evolution, out of these thousands of phytochemicals, a couple of thousand also have anti-cancer properties. This should not be a big surprise because about 50% of the drugs we use in the clinic to treat cancer of the Taxol, vincristine, vinblastine, and so on, are isolated originally from plants. This part here is a human tumor. So these mice are being treated with various food extracts. 
broccoli and garlic and blueberry. And it shrunk the tumor by yeah. how much? Ninety percent. Nine zero. Ninety percent. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, if you would have these types of results with drugs that would be tested from the pharmaceutical industry, I would call the head of research anywhere he would be on the planet at any time of the day and tell him, Bob, we've got an incredible result with compound W6NN9W9. And he would say, what is it? And it's a 90% reduction. He would be excited like crazy. If you eat plants, you put in your bloodstream these compounds that have shown to have anti-cancer properties. It's the family of cabbage, cauliflower, Brussels sprout, broccoli, garlic, and onion, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries. Some spices, such as ginger and turmeric, have the most potent plant-based anti-inflammatory molecules that have been found in nature. So when people say that there's no evidence, these people don't know what they're talking about.